Hey yo, welcome everybody to another special Terraria video. This video, you know, I saw that tier maker and making tier lists was becoming a sort of popular thing and I wanted to hop on it and of course add a little Terraria twist to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be checking out all the tier lists made for Terraria. I also made a couple of my own because there was only like four lists. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's hop into the first one. So here we are with the first one. This one is very important to me, Terraria npc waifus tier list maker now this isn't modded but it's all good because we already know who is s tier the one and only dryad herself she is a baddie all right nobody can tell me otherwise she may be a couple hundred years old it's all good in my books and we'll put nurse at the a list or the a tier nurse i would have my children with her plain and simple she takes care of you in game she would take care of your children and take care of you come on it's pretty obvious now when we get to the b section i'm gonna have to put two in the b section and that is the stylist and the party girl you know they both have a nice pink type of colored hair and it's really good looking plain and simple but now we get to the c and d list i'm gonna put engineer at the c list and i'm sorry steampunker you're going into the d tier I, I just don't like her so the next list we're doing is the most le epic boss from terraria i don't know why it says le epic but the most epic bosses from terraria obviously in the s tier we're gonna place none other than moon lord himself great boss one of the best bosses in vanilla terraria but now it gets kind of hard because i do like a lot of these bosses but i think i'm gonna put lunatic cultists in the s tier i enjoy lunatic cultists a lot very cool boss and then and we'll put Duke and Plantera. Duke and Plantera, especially Plantera. I love how unique Plantera is. And when Duke came out of nowhere as a boss in like, what was it, 1.2.4? I loved it. But yeah, now we go into the A list. And uh, we're going to put, you know, let's see here. Let's go with, I like Queen B. I like Queen B a lot. Wall of Flesh, also a great boss. Honestly, Wallflesh should go in S tier. It's a very unique boss. Um, we'll put... Nah, I don't really like the golem like that. We'll put the destroyer because I like how easy the destroyer is <laughs> when you get into hard mode. And we'll put... We'll put these guys in b tier we're just gonna shove a bunch of them into the b list and then we're gonna put king slime down here all right don't worry about king slime we'll put the eye there i i don't like the eye if i'm being honest but yeah there's my list i don't know kind of this might be a controversial list i don't know i don't know i'll leave all these uh lists in the description so you guys can you know you can do them and then send them to me on twitter my twitter is at game raiders 101 by the way we are now getting into the custom list that i have made myself and that is terraria thorium boss tier list now Thorium doesn't have a lot of bosses that actually is a lot, but you know, compared to a mod like Calamity and even Spirit, Spirit might have a large amount of bosses. I'm actually not sure on that one. But yeah, it's got a decent amount, but not as big as Calamity. But let's go ahead, let's put S tier. Obviously, I'm putting Ragnarok at S tier. Ragnarok, beautiful. I love Ragnarok, awesome. And after that, we're gonna put Abyssion. I love Abyssion. Very cool boss. You fight Abyssion in his own biome, so that's really cool. Uh, the Lich's design is really cool. I'm gonna put the Lich in S tier. And i think that's it for s tier but for starting uh a tier we're gonna put the grand thunderbird now the grand thunderbird i think is game changing it's one of thorium's first bosses you know one of the og bosses that has stuck since the tapi version and uh, i just love thunderbird and i love his redesign his remodel looks beautiful and uh who else we put in this a list we're gonna put the Burry champion i like the Burry champion a lot. i enjoy him thoroughly so in the b side we're gonna put borean strider get it b for borean strider i don't like the borean strider if i'm being honest i hate the way you spawn it in the boss fight's okay uh we're gonna we're gonna put you in c all right i, I don't like you <laughs> The boss fight is just, it's an okay boss fight, don't get me wrong. But design wise, that's an ugly boss for a granite biome. Know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just, I don't feel it. It fits the granite biome, don't get me wrong, but I feel like there's more interesting ideas you could have done. But yeah, jellyfish, we'll put jellyfish in B, and then we'll put, uh, I'll put Viscount actually in A. I really love how Viscount look, and I'll put you in B. Nothing in the D side. I like all Thorium bosses. Come on. We are getting into something that might change how people think about me and Terraria and how I think about Terraria right here because this is calamity and calamity is a big thing and that's why i'm putting crabulon at s tier i'm kidding by the way i'm kidding but yeah s tier calamity let's let's just go let's just go like this all right yarn easily an s tier boss cal where, where's cal at this year boom easily an s tier boss supreme cal 
a hard boss i've only beat it like twice very enjoyable boss though easily s tier devourer of gods also known as dog you know me and him we've had our fights and i've dominated like 90 percent of them after uh he dominated like 10 percent for a certain amount of time i still love him though i enjoy the boss fight he is s tier to me i think those are gonna be the only s tier though even though some of these bosses they're they're pretty fun don't get me wrong i'm just kidding we'll slide providence in there that's about it though that's all i'm giving for s tier just the big five right there you know most of these are post moon lord but cal but i guess you got supreme cal but yeah that's all i'm giving for s tier let's move on to a tier for a tier i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna slide plague bringer into there i enjoy plague bringer a lot i'm gonna put poltergast in there i enjoy poltergast and then i'm gonna slide in the uh three guardians here so we got cygnus stormweaver and the other guy whose name i don't know because who really cares about him moving on to the b section now maybe like gamers you're just putting bosses in order of when you fight them no 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 that's not how it is at all because i'm gonna slide the one and only desert scourge right here i enjoy the desert scourge a lot i really do i love it especially when the boss used to be red does anyone remember that or what about when the boss used to be blue does anyone remember that yeah we're gonna put cryogen here too uh as much as i dislike cryogen especially when cryogen was able to just latch onto you when you were fighting it uh you know i'll still put it in the b i enjoy cryogen still we're also gonna put the leviathan here honestly the leviathan could have went into a but uh too late for them we're gonna put the guardians and bumble burb here even though i think they should go into c i don't enjoy the boss the pre-boss fights before you know a bigger boss fight like you have to fight bumble burb to fight yarn you have to fight the profane gardens before you fight providence i don't really enjoy those fights uh i feel like they can be just mini bosses but i guess they're, you know regular bosses i would put them in c but i'm being nice all right we're gonna put you here and you here the perforators and hive mind i enjoy them a lot i like how they're you know themed to fit they're each consecutive biome uh i don't think that's the right words i used right there we're gonna put brimstone elemental in b2 we're gonna put ashram aris and ashram Deus. I don't know if that's the same names they have anymore. And we're gonna put you here, and then we're gonna get you down here. You're going into C. Fuck you. I hate Slime God. I hate you, Ravager. Krabulon is just boring. I'm being honest. We're putting Grab Krabulon into the D list. I'm sorry. He's just he's just. He just sucks so we are here on the final list and this one i think is the most important in terms of you know just being a terraria content creator so i really hope you guys thoroughly inspect each and every one of my answers and uh you know is able to create opinion of me based off of these answers we're here terraria male npc waifus uh now you may be like game managers you're missing someone you're missing the fisherman the fisherman is a child are right? you pedophile so that's why he's not on this list all right so let's start with s tier we got a lot of uh, non-humanoids on here well my favorite non-humanoid well i guess it is humanoid but uh non-human is uh the goblin himself who doesn't love the goblin if you don't think the goblin is a male waifu you're tripping plain and simple he does so much for you and i'm gonna put the merchant up there too because who doesn't love the merchant he's a good dude we're gonna put my boy the clothier up here shout out my boy chippy always got love for him and uh we'll go ahead we'll put the uh the demolitionist there because you know you buy bombs a good amount of times in terraria and i just believe he he should belong there but yeah next on the list we got the traveling merchant himself i love when the traveling merchant comes through you know it's always a good time except when obviously he's not selling the stuff you need but i'm thinking that looks like that might be it for the s tier i'm kidding we're putting the arms dealer up there he deserves some shine but yeah there you go there's my s tier listing i might have been a little generous honestly with some of these but uh we all know the goblin is number one so it doesn't matter either way moving on to the a list now you may be like game writers how come you haven't put the guide anywhere yet we're gonna put the guide in the d section all right i don't like the guy <laughs> he's a waste of space early game i would recommend when you start the game and you already know terraria you just kill him honestly if you don't even know terraria it might just be more fun just killing him anyways and just figuring it out on your own i know I, there's a wiki available the wiki's more useful than him if we're being honest here but yeah moving on a list who is gonna go on the a list we'll put the painter i do enjoy the painter a lot and i do paint things often when i build in terraria so we're gonna put him there we're also gonna put santa claus shout out to my ho ho hoes out there who doesn't love santa claus you barely ever seen we're gonna put the uh tavern keeper next because i believe the tavern keeper is really unique in terms of how he got added to the game and i just love the items he sells all that next up we're gonna put the tax the tax npc because he collects taxes from all these npcs because the npcs let's talk about how they just freeload off of us can we talk about this this is a subject that is not talked about a lot in the uh, terrarian community how npcs just freeload off of us 
and then comes in this saint to save us you know what i'm putting him in the s tier i'm moving you down here this saint comes in and collects the taxes from all these npcs who've been freeloading off off of us for god knows how long all right so we're gonna put the uh wizard next the wizard very good npc i'm gonna put him there now let's start mixing it up all right cyborg d list get out of here you're, you're terrible you're the worst npc in the game if we're being honest the guide is definitely better than you i'm gonna put him in front of you i'm gonna put him in front of you i'm gonna put this asshole at the c list because he's an asshole and then uh i'm gonna put die trader in the b die trader ain't that useful i'm not really a fan of dies myself like i don't really like dying my armor too often but uh let's put the pirate npc there another npc that i think is pretty useless and just gimmicky a lot of npcs if we're being honest are just gimmicky we're gonna put the skeleton merchant in the b list because when you need the skeleton merchant the most to say i don't know buy a yo-yo bag if you're doing a yo-yo playthrough the dude never shows up and i think he does it on purpose he's ducking us on purpose even like say you got mods and you need to buy a modded item from him he never shows up when you need him but he shows up all the time when you don't need him and we're just gonna put the mushroom guy uh we're gonna put him in the a-list because uh if you know my channel you know i like mushroom themed stuff but yeah shout out to tier maker for allowing me to make some of these lists and shout out to the people who made a couple of the lists that i used in this video i'm gonna put all of my lists that i made in the description including ones that i did that weren't mine that i didn't make and i want you guys to follow me on twitter at gamerders 101 uh that will probably be a link in the description too and i want you guys to send me your tier list of the ones that i did in this video because i'm very interested to see what you guys did but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna do uh, a, a loud clap for the outro like a regular youtuber does i hope you guys enjoyed this video I don't, I don't, I don't.